In this video, we're going to look at how to use the follow tool. So I'm just going to show you an example of um, a rounded edge on a surface and I'm just going to show you another example and get you guys to create a road with a raised pathway. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to create a rectangle, same as always, and I'm going to try and position it um, so I can see the full edge of the top. So from here, we're just going to click on the pull push tool and just raise it out. So we have our rectangle, just like we've done in the other the other lessons. Um, so our mission now is to add a surface a surface that we can actually pull all the way around this shape. So without the pull push tool, this is very very difficult to achieve. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an arc. So we're going to use our arc tool, and once again just get this into position. So click on one edge, click on the other edge, and then follow it out along the green axis. Now make it quite big so you can see what I'm doing. So now we've got this, we're going to change our tool. Now the follow me tool is underneath the pull push tool. So we click on this and it's this one in the middle and if I hover for long enough it will say follow me. So we can click on this and select the surface. Now with this surface selected I'm just going to come up to this angle here and just keep working and you can see as I work around it needs to follow the correct vertice otherwise it goes above and that's where I've kind of messed up a little bit so I'm just going to undo that one because I had the bottom edge so I'm just going to click above here so hopefully it follows this top edge this time there we go that's better um, otherwise you can't see what it's doing and the minute you lose this it's really difficult to carry on um, and there you go now it's completed you'll see that the follow me tool has created this lovely kind of beveled edge which is lovely um, so that's one way in which it can be used. Um, another way in which it can be used, and you could see this in tabletops and things like that, which would be really quite cool. Another way is for some kind of road. So if, we, if we're going to make a kind of road network, and for me I'm just going to make a very simple road. But So I'm going to use my rectangle tool, and I'm just going to draw out a shape. Actually a better tool to use would probably be the pencil tool. So I'm going to get my pencil tool, I'm going to start in this corner, I'm going to draw out, now follow the red axis, don't follow the blue axis otherwise you'll end up drawing in the air. And we're just going to have a very simple kind of cul-de-sac road. And this can go on for as long as you wanted it to. Follow the red axis again, and then once it completes we can just complete it here. Fantastic. Okay, great. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create another little block in one of these corners. If I create it here, then this will act as my pathway. And I'm, I'm just going to raise it up using the pull push tool. Oops. This one here. Control Z. Don't want to do that. Let me just undo that because I just messed that up. So let's create another edge. So snap. Make sure you're following the correct axis, which is the green axis. Then follow the red, and then we have our surface. Then let's use the pull push tool. Make sure you've got it selected, and then we're just going to pull it up. So I'm just, this time I'm going to pull it along this axis and all the way around. And it's just going to act as a raised pathway. So once again, from the pull push tool, click on it, click the follow me tool, and then select your edge. Now, if you come closer to the edge you want to follow, which is this one, it does make it a little bit easier. So click, drag, and then just keep following it round. Follow that pathway, and you can see it's highlighting where it's going to go. If you make a mistake, you can always undo it. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit fussy. So your mission then is to have a go at the first exercise, and then have a go at creating, and just be careful before you let go, and there we go, now we've got it. And then have a go at creating a pathway. And all I'm going to do now, because I've got this extra line that I really don't want, I'm just going to press delete, select and delete, and it will get rid of it, creating a nice edge for me. Okay, so create yourself a nice tabletop with that curved edge um, using the, the arc tool, and then create yourself some kind of road with a raised pathway.